Now I've decided that I'm going to pop under the nerve and see if we can get to this little spot just about here. So I've got a vein here that I'm going to keep in mind. I just want to get to about this spot here. A little bit of local just to test, and we can see that we've got spread coursing down here. I want to try and use the local to open up a little space so I can have a safe passage through. Gentle, gentle. You can see some tenting, some rolling. That's okay. A little bit of gentle pressure. We'll get a release in a second. Tiny release there. So we'll test again with some uh, local. And a little pop. See the amount of artifact that's caused by the needle here. So quite often I'll be flicking off like I've done here to see what the local spread is like. Um, I think this is one of the times where if you've always got your needle in view, you're not going to be able to see what's under it. So reasonable spread, but I haven't got great views of the ulna or radial nerve. Medians here. I've injected as a withdrawn. You can see the faint sort of donut of local around it. It's really not great. I would like to improve that if I could, but in, I guess, a safe way. Now what seems to make the most sense is popping down on top of it, but obviously we've got the artery here, so I can't just skewer that. So I'm going to see if I can come down through here. And then we've got a awake patient who can tell me if he gets any paresthesia. Pushing the nerve down gently, just like patting it down. Little tiny pop there. And some spread. It's not exactly bathing the median nerve. So what I'll tend to do now is sort of pause and reassess. Have I got enough local around the nerve? Yeah. Looks like a reasonable amount. So now I've got, I'm happy with that. I'm going to look around, looking for the ulnar and the radial nerve as well. So now we were trying to get the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm, which is somewhere over here. I think it's that it there. Keep in mind we've got artery here and this vein that is compressed here as well. So I'm going to scooch along this fascia. Check into that vein. So that vein's now being pushed down. You can see it here. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to use the local to hydrodissect a space. I'm pretty sure this is the nerve I'm wanting to get to there. Little pop. And there we go. Coming back now, not going out of the skin. Oscocutaneous is here. Nice interfacial plane that I'm going to target here. Popping down. Little injection there. Not happy with that. Tiny bit further. La a tiny little release there, and some pretty good spread. Quite happy with that. So I'm flicking around now, just trying because so we've got uh, muscular cutaneous, we've got median nerve there, ulnar and radial are the ones I'm looking for now. Pause it there, ulnar nerve out here. Now it sort of gets lost in the grey, so you can see it at different spots. I get the feeling that a little bit more local sitting above the conjoint tendon would be a good idea here. And again, you've got to choose choose your interventor or choose your path. And I try and do this without another needle puncture, scooch along here, under the median nerve, and then I'll either go under this artery or over it. So I'll try going under it. I'm not quite sure what is in here. Radial nerve might be here, so I need to be cautious. I don't want to go skewering anything. 
little pop. Test injection. Not seeing much, so I'm not happy with that. A little bit of local leaked out there. Could be better. Lifting the artery up, looking for another little release. So interestingly now we've got better work on top, so I'm just going to redirect on top. And pop the local there. 